Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're just rolling into Sinton, Texas. And I wanted to start off by saying hello. I met Tony and Luke and Nicole this morning. And uh, Luke's birthday was Saturday, I believe. Right, Luke? Happy birthday, Luke. And I uh, received a nice gift from the family. Very nice to meet you guys. And I uh, hope to see you again. Maybe down the road we can uh, say hello and have more time to talk. Sitting, guys. Sitting's got a Dairy Queen. I may or may not have gotten ice cream from there before. I'd rather not say. This is Butters Barbecue. They were located in Mathis, Texas. And honestly, I don't know if this is a second location or if they moved everything to here permanently. Good for you, Sitton. They always had some good barbecue at Butters. And a subscriber named Steve wanted me to check out 713 East Market. There's a beautiful home. And I don't see a number on this one. I'm looking. So it's either this house or the one right next to it. And I don't see, oh, 713. There you go, Steve. 713 East Market. That's a nice looking house, man. Got a little wheelchair ramp there. It's, uh, it's nice. And more importantly, it's like a block and a half from Butters Barbecue. There you go, Steve. One down, buddy. <laughs> That's a beautiful home. I absolutely love this house. Yeah, it could use a little love, but Look at the woodwork the detail. Pretty amazing. That would be cool to have the money to put together the completely restore that. Apparently, guys, Steve's family had a business right in here somewhere. Steve, I'm not sure exactly what building it would be. Probably one of the ones on the far left there, but Steve's uh, family had a business in there. I've driven by here hundreds of times, literally hundreds of times. There is Justice Label Distillery, and we've done videos from in there before. That was uh, veterans who uh, actually made their own whiskey. And I tried a few different ones, and it was, uh, it was good stuff. They made their own moonshine as well. I hear a train. I have filmed this before right behind Justice Distillery. And I remember asking you guys what that stuff was outside and several of you knew what it was. Good old Sinton, Texas. You know I love rusty things. Let me see if I can catch us a train coming. I know I heard it. Seems like there's just grackles everywhere. This is kind of the main drag that comes through town. And uh, I had a buddy that was in a rehab facility here twice. So I'm very familiar with coming to Sinton. And Sinton is the county seat of San Patricio County. And there's their courthouse. And there's the potholes. 
that my tires are finding. This is the side of the courthouse. I came here once for uh, jury duty, but I did not get selected. It's when I was living in uh, Portland, Texas, which is fine by me. This is behind it. This is where, uh, whenever I was driving for Uber and Lyft and I had a lawyer, that's where I would drop them off, San Patricio County Courthouse. And they do have some statues out front. Matter of fact, my uh, friend Jason at Jason's TX Adventures was just here a couple weeks ago and showed us some of the statues. And I have done that in earlier videos as well. Sitting uh, might look a little beat up to some of you people, but they are in the process of building a $2.3 billion steel mill just outside of town. And I'm really hoping that helps revitalize the area. I mean, they got a steel mill and a Butters barbecue. Come on, can't go wrong there. Here's one of the statues Jason had just shown. And it's got some historical markers. Hold on. Hold on. And there's your postcard. This is Aunt Aggie B's Pralines. They got a giant squirrel eating a pecan. That's kind of category, category? catty corner to the courthouse if you're ever in the area right next to the big x sound station i like big nuts i cannot lie several of you guys mentioned uh, a bakery here and this is the one we came to uh, sitting donuts when my buddy was locked up sometimes they would uh let him out for three hours at a time and that was one of the places that we came to they even got a Whataburger and a small H-E-B here. Guys, I want to thank the Turner family from Indiana. They sent me an awesome gift through my PayPal. Thank you, Turner family. I really appreciate it. Hope you're all having an awesome day. There are quite a few of these older homes here that really needs some love. I mean, the detail on them is incredible. This is the cemetery just across the street from the rehab facility. And uh, they were real strict about having my buddy back by a certain time. So when we would take him out, we would always make sure we were close by just in case there was any type of, I don't know, truck failure or anything we we did not want to get him in any type of trouble you know so uh sometimes when we came back we'd be back a half hour early and we would kind of just check out the stones in this cemetery worst case scenario if something happened he would just have to walk across the street and there was one marker that really stayed with me. And I don't know why the cemetery looks so different. It's probably been about six years since I've been here. But it was sad. There was a child's grave. And it had like a Scooby-Doo uh marker on it and I don't see it. it the marker itself was made of wood so maybe it's gone now but I've spent hours in this cemetery and yes it does look bigger than when we were here this is the Chiltepin River right by that same facility and some days we would come here and it would be bone dry and some days the water would really be flowing. 
I know we're still in a drought in our area, so the water is low. Well, guys, I'm sure I missed a lot of things, but I just haven't been over to sitting here in a while. I like some of the older architecture here, and I'm hoping a lot of this can be saved and reused and revitalized. I know a lot of good people that live in Sitton. That's the county seat. That's why I came over here and filmed on a Sunday, just to avoid a lot of the traffic. It's got some good restaurants and good things going for it. Seems like every little Texas town has an old Rialto theater. A lot of them show uh, now older movies or have theme nights, sometimes live uh, music because the uh, old movie theaters kind of have a stage in the front of them. Sitting's still got a lot of restaurants. Sitting's got a lot of Mexican restaurants, but uh, they got some barbecue. Uh, what's the name of that one good restaurant here? Back Porch, is that what it's called? That's only open on weekdays. And I absolutely love that style of Texas architecture. Texture? No. I'll get it right. It's early in the day, guys. I hear a train again, guys. There's uh, several sets of tracks that come through Sitton. And uh, mostly freight trains. I don't think the train stops here. But I'm sure, well, I'm not sure. I wonder if the steel mill will have trains going to it. That would make sense. Yeah, there's this set, this set of tracks here. And then some more up here. But it's got, for a small Texas town, it's a good size. Good and crisp chicken. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> I've eaten at several of them. Uh, there's one in Ingleside, one in Corpus. Uh, one down in Taft, I believe. There's Butter's Barbecue again. I, like I said earlier, I don't know if that's a second location or if they moved everything to here. Isn't that pretty? I wonder what kind of palm trees they are. Well, guys, thanks for riding along today. There's Dairy Queen up here. Who wants ice cream? We're going to stop for ice cream today. Everyone take a lick, pass it on. Don't be gross about it either. Don't make this weird. I'll pull this truck over. Thanks for watching.